third or second train. They can't be on two different tracks. There's one train track here with two rails and one over there with two rails. And they crisscross down the way, so he can't be on both sides. Another one could be coming alongside this one. Maybe. I think here comes another one. Here comes the second one. This is Exploring with Bonnie, and I'm doing a video today in my hometown of Fostoria, Ohio. We have the Iron Triangle, which is a triangle of train tracks. They crisscross each other, and strategic locations, making where I'm at right now in between all three sets. If you're a rail fan, then you may have been here. If you haven't, a lot of people do come here. We're going to go up here and see this caboose that we have at our rail park. And there goes the coal train that's going westbound. The end of it. And here's the end of the eastbound train. Okay, so this is our very own caboose sitting at our rail park. It's a b and o. It's C3008. I don't know if you can see inside. So it's open to public Saturday from 11 to 1 on, oh, through September 25th. I don't know how much you can see in there at night. And they have, we have our very own rail festival. There's a sign for it on September 25th, the Fostoria High School from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. They have model train displays, train merchandise memorabilia, historic rail tours, children rides, food, you name it, we have it. Now they're building a factory of some kind right there, which I think is a stupid mistake. They should have expanded the rail park and made more of it to attract more people. Um, we'll look in this end. I don't know what that is, but let's go look at it. 
Oh dear, we might be having another train coming. I can hear it in the background. Here's the ground looking up at the caboose on the set. And on this side. Yeah, I feel like they should have had a playground for children here for the parents who bring their children with them. Um, I feel like they should have had a museum out here. Um, a couple of, well I know at least one of the old train stations across town. They are going to bring out here supposedly. I do have a small video of that. General Railway Signal Company, Rochester, New York, made in the USA. Hmm. Some kind of heater? I would guess. Maybe for a train car? I don't know. This over here is the platform where you can view the trains coming. They do have bathroom facilities. Now this train may be on the other track, headed towards Tiffin, over, over that way, and not this way. This track heads towards Finley, and that track heads from North Baltimore to Tiffin. And I believe he's going to be over there. Yep. comes down through there. Now, of course, he can turn the corner here. There is a curve at this juncture right here. Right there where I'm facing now. And he can either go to the south to carry, or he can go to the north up through Bradner to Toledo. Looks like he's going to go straight to Tiffin. So here's the other side of that little building. This is like a train platform. It's set up like you would be waiting for a train to board. Which this is a perfect location for that. And then the train tracks are right in front of you. Not much more of the train park here in Fostoria. And as you can see the people right there that they do sit in here and watch the trains. This is some history about Fostoria. The historical society and tells you where it is. This one says events of historical downtown. Of course that was 2019 scheduling. Um, the glass gallery we do have. I'm not sure the days it's open. And then restaurants of Fostoria and about Fostoria itself and the Chamber of Commerce. We have 
at least 200 trains a day. I think it was more than 200, 210 or something, but I could be wrong. And then these trains for people who love them, it's all well and good, but people who live right over there, I grew up in the blue house right there by my finger. Um, <laughs> so annoying, so very annoying. Especially when you get stuck in the iron triangle. And that trains that come from Tiffin from over there can come around that track, hit this track because there's a curve that way, and then curve around and go out that way. And then that's the three roads and you can, you're stuck in the triangle. Thank you for watching. I hope you like, comment what you thought. Thank you. Okay, so I am here during the daytime. I was here the other night doing a short video. Um, I came back during the day so you could actually see what it looks like during the day. This is the rail park. We're gonna miss it because my I can't even do a video right now. It's being used in another application. Oh dear. And there's the first train of the time that I'm here. Woo! Yay! Sorry. He's not honking that much yet. Usually they honk like crazy. They usually honk all the way down through. They'll start right now, probably, because... They should. Yep. Alright, so... This is... that we have here at our train park and everybody is standing there watching the train go by okay there I'll let you see a better end today than it was last night what little bit you can see So this is our very own rail park here at Pastoria with our B&O caboose. Yes, it does move. I said, ooh, you can spin it over here. I moved it last night. So here we're going to look into the other the other end. Um, right here is a little sink, maybe a refrigerator type there's thing. Looks like there's bunks. Yes, the Pete lady and her kid are sitting down there. There's a heater in there. I can see. Um. That says something about flushed. I'm not sure what that means. And then if you want to know about more about trains, you can come to the, I'm gonna guess every year in September, probably not that same weekend, but we have a Foss Soil Rail Festival. And there goes the end of that train. So when I was here last, not last night, the night before, I was only here for a half an hour. And there were four trains that came through in a half an hour time period.
this thing over here I was looking at the other night as well and I really not sure if anybody who knows anything about trains knows more than I do um, maybe you can tell me if I'm correct this may be some kind of a heater furnace type thing I'm not certain there's a lot of wires in there I just don't know the only reason I thought maybe it was some kind of heater was because of this door. Though it does say General Railway Signal Company up there on top. There. I don't know. There's another train coming. This will be the third one that I know has come by today. Uh, he's on the same rail, maybe? Yep, same rails. Oh, hobos leave marks all along the route to communicate with other hobos who would pass through. Very cool. All kinds of rail information. Quite a few people here today. Um... So this is our rail platform for our rail fans. This is what it looks like in the daytime. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, share. Leave me a comment that what you thought.